afternoon. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm starting this vlog this week with some old fashioned home hair dyeing. Not on me, because as, as you may have noticed, I got, actually got my hair done yesterday at the salon by Sophie. And actually whilst I was there, I get a text message from Josie saying, do you think you could do this? Sends me a picture. I'm like, mm, I've not done it in a while, but we can make it work. We, got, we went to Boots just now to get the stuff. Would you like oat milk in it? Okay. So before we start, we are um, doing some iced coffees. Oat, as the oat milk. Um, but yeah, this morning has been quite a pr productive one. Of uh, what have I done today? I went to boot camp. I did some work. I walk, walked the dog. I did some stuff in the garden. Then I went to the office and posted orders. Then I met Jose. Then we went to Boots. Then we've come home. I've had some lunch, and it's now nearly well twenty to two. Look what I've done to my bin <laughs> from banging it. Too you hot. can get bang boxes. I need to buy one. Because then I can use the, the yeah, and then I can use the coffee to put down on the garden. And it's supposed to be good for the garden and keep the sluggies at bay. Ah! Oh, I'll use the nice glasses. I've got these little cute, these little cute glasses cute. for the iced coffee. Then I'll get the ice. Do you want any syrup? What you got? So I've got caramel, hazelnut, or vanilla. Caramel. These are the beans of the scent at the moment. These are from Broadland Espresso Blend. Milk Choc, Peanut, Red Castillo, Blend of, see? Yeah. I thought, I, I got them from the garden centre. From, from Oh, they are actually, I was like, are they from the Norfolk Broads? And they are. Are they? Mm, are from the Norfolk Broads. Yeah, well, I always keep it local. To be honest, I don't, really go to Starbucks anymore. I have been recently because Jack keeps wanting strawberry frappuccinos. <laughs> the kids Jack. He wants, <laughs> he wants strawberry frappuccinos with no cream. So obviously I'll get one when I'm there, but I do prefer just making it at home now. Whoa. Oh God, I think I put too much caramel in that. Fuck, too much. Right, so in today's video, we're going to be using Bleach London Plex Bleach, which is essentially their version of putting Olaplex in bleach, which you should do to keep the hair strength and integrity. And then she wants to go over with a pink. So we're doing dip dye, but we're not... The just the ends. We're just going to bring it up a little bit. So we've got some colour up here. Look, I'm doing her a little hair, you know, consultation. You know what I mean? Like, 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 so I'm gonna work my way through the back, bring up some ends, just give it some vibrancy. Get rid of the boring brown. Boring brown? Boring brown. That's not boring. Thank You've got you. lovely hair. Actually. I was gonna try and do it myself and I just knew it would end terribly. No, 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 no. I will just say this about the iced coffee. Using the minor figures oat milk does make it next level. As is all right. It's all right, but you'll notice the difference if you use the barista sort of shit. I like the barista stuff is like thicker, isn't it? Yeah, got more creaminess to it. This is the backs. This is my bleach application on this side, and I don't think that's that bad. Don't come at me, hairdressers, because you know I'm not qualified. I can't see it, so. You know I'm not qualified, so leave me alone, yeah? Fucking, I'm just saying it before you come at me. You might not. But you might. I did say I think we might need a more vibrant pink to cover up the blonde, but sure. Oh, Gobby pink looks more pastel. We'll see though. We'll leave it on for a, for a while. Good. Well, getting ready for our Ollie Bobs in Barcelona. Hi. Oh. Oh. Chili. No, she's up. She's coming to say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Lola's being a bully. There you go. <laughs> go on. Whilst Josie's hair cooks, I'm going to cut the grass. And then we go.
Bloody hell. That looks better already. Woo! Sure you don't want a drink? This is my strimmer. It's electric. Yeah, I've got to get my sunglasses in. Did it. That looks all right. It's taken some of the pink where she already had like more pre-lightened hair. But I think that's a pretty nice colour that is. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty. Oh, it. I'm happy. You happy? Yes. Lush. And what? We got hairdressers. Fr <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's we got freeze frubes. <laughs> freeze frozen frubes. <laughs> frubes. It makes a lovely little hot day <laughs> off. Little snack. Not for you. Why didn't the snowmen go to the party? Oh, I thought it was the same thing. He had snow body to go with. Oh. oh. What, what do you call a snowman party? A uh, snowball. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Not for you. Summer solstice today. Sun is setting at 10 to 10. It's mad. So I'm sitting out in the garden with a little fire pit. Situ with some lots of lots of offcuts of wood from my reclaimed wood wall and it's very sparky. Ah <laughs> Um I've just tanned. I've packed, had my tea, obviously took Josie home. She's very happy with her hair, which I'm relieved. I was a bit nervous about doing that. Because I was like, I'm sure I can do it, but I haven't done it in ages. Turned out all right in the end. She's happy with it. Her boyfriend loves it. So, win. It's very bit smoky, a bit sparky, but I just love a fire. Well, we didn't catch on fire, which is always good. We're en route. We're going to the Isle of Wight Festival today. Uh, it is 6.22 in the morning, and we were up at five getting everything ready, packing the car up, packing the dogs. They're coming as well, not coming to the festival, but we've got an Airbnb which they can hang out in. Um, it's gonna be nice, because I think it's gonna, we're just gonna balance out between seeing some acts and chilling. And I'm so here for it. <laughs> it was, it's been really busy these last few weeks, obviously including this little trip. Um, but it'll be quite nice to have a little bit of chill time so I'm really excited by that. Jack, who are you excited for today? I want to see the streets and the prodigy. Is there anyone else? Do you like the darkness? I like Justin Hawkins. I'm not a fan of the, like, I'm not really into classic rock as much, but I like Justin Hawkins, so um, I'd be interested in watching them. Yeah, they could put on a good show. I've... I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see the Isle of Wight um, festival, because I've never been, so, I'm excited to see what it's like there because I've been to most, well not most, I've been to a lot of UK festivals. Oh, I would be going to boot camp this time of morning anyway, to be fair, but I was I don't normally get up at five in the morning to go to boot camp, but I could literally pop my head in right now. Hello, everybody. Yeah, three, three hours 36, it's saying on there. So we, we, we could stop for a pit stop if we wanted to because we've got an hour to spare. We're about to go through a tunnel, and I'm, oh, oh, this is a, I was gonna, I'm gonna hold my breath through the tunnel. There is a, there is a longer one coming. We're ready, three, two, one. <gasps> that was easy, try to do the Dartford tunnel. That one's hard. That's almost, that's actually impossible. Is there another one coming up then, did you say? Yeah, there's another one. Oh, good. There's a few of them. I like doing that. We're at South Mims. It's a Taco Bell! Shit, the bed! I got prep. Egg and salmon. Croissant, chocolate croissant. And iced Americano of oat. Wait, that was a quick pit stop. Did you, did you have a wee? Okay. We're entering Southampton and it's a glorious, a glorious weather. 
I just saw some cranes from the docks and I, I'm going to get a little bit excited because there's going to be cruise ships, isn't there? You know how I feel about cruise ships? I think they're fucking cool. <laughs> going to get all, like, flustered. Oh, my God. It's the symphony of the seas. That's the biggest cruise ship in the world. How big is it? Fucking huge, that's what that big is. That's massive. I just find docks really cool, like really ex in interesting. But I think, do you know what I think it is? Dock mines? No, docks. Oh, the docks. No, I love docks and I think it's because, like obviously, they represent the gateway to going to new places and also like, look at all them fright thingies and container units. That's got smoke on it now. Like, it's just, that's going across the world somewhere. That's picking up something that's come from China or, you know what I mean? Like, it's the gateway to the world. And also docks represent traveling to a new world. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like that kind of excitement of wonder what's out there. Ooh, like a portal. Yeah, I kind of get it, like an airport. Yeah, I guess so, but I don't know. I think it's something about this. I think airports are exciting, but there's something. Well, ships are grandiose. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they're the, it's, yeah, it's the, yeah. the yeah, it's the magnitude of docks. They're so big. And it's also like a massive game of Jenga. Yeah, and like the water, the ocean's really big and, and deep and, and deep. scary, yeah. <laughs> and got things that will eat you, and then got things that we haven't even seen yet because we can't go that down that deep. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh my God, I'd love to do a Disney cruise. You'd hate it. So it's a Disney, like they are insane. And you go all around the Caribbean and Disney have their own islands. So you rock up to the Disney islands, which are all obviously themed and stuff. And they've got loads of shit going on. I forget Disney does own like loads of stuff now. Yeah, like, you go on Disney Cruise, they've got all the shows at night time, they've got the water parky bit on the top of the boat with the slides, then they put on, like, they've got the Disney food and catering and everything sort of themed. Does the boat end up under the sea? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. No. But, they'll, like, they've got their own little islands. And I think if you... The way you can do it, because I was looking at it, you book a Disney Cruise and you also... You spend, like a few days at the Disney parks so you get to, you stay at Disney it's a big package holiday you stay at Disney for a few days and then they take you to the quay and then you get on the boat and then you go around all the dif these different Caribbean islands and then you go back that's quite yeah you feel quite I suppose quite far down then <gasps> look at that big pit that's a P&A cruise I can tell by the logo oh what the oh, the sun about the, lorry, the like, sun the oh they got log Oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, She's telling you to go. Okay, go. that's fine. Oh, look, there's this little car park. Look at her. She was like, I think we're going next. <laughs> I think you're not. I think you're <laughs> not. <laughs> Man says different. He does. He probably heard her and went, nah, bitch. Oh, last check in is 60 minutes prior departure, so we're all right. Oh. Uh, two. Lovely, thank you very much. Oh, we're going at. Oh, this is a departure time 11. Hello, colleague. Yeah, they've got like a little cafe and everything on there, haven't they? I know, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. I've only done it once, and I think it was 2014. And we like played to two people. Drove all the way to the Isle of Wight to play to like two people. <laughs> oh, that was a fun day, though. Pets must remain in the vehicle or use the designated pet area on board during the crossing. Yeah, I think I'm getting wrinkles. Look at my face when I do this. Look at all my wrinkles. Am I old? I think everyone has that orange. Look at when you do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got this, these little marks on my face from when I turned, and I don't know whether they're blackheads that they've stuck to, dry skin, or I'm growing patches of beard on my face. Yeah. Cruising on the boat, yeah. Lola's on the boat, 
yeah, 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 yeah. Not the best lighting in here, but it's not too bad. Don't bark at the good looking boatman. Riding up these under eyes. Bloody hell. We have to leave the car. We have to leave the car. I, I, I read it completely wrong. Do not sit in your car. I thought it said you can sit in your car if you want. <laughs> Anyway, we're on the boat. It's, met, it's so busy because obviously it's a party boat, isn't it? Everyone's, everyone's drinking. Everyone's got their beers and their pims and look at Southampton. Wow. Pretty wild. Doggies are getting lots of little ahs. We're on the Isle of Wight. It's very sunny and bright. It was a lovely, that was a tick, like, that hour flew by so quick, didn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm well excited about being here. I'm, I'm excited to see the plants they grow on this island. Um, I'm just putting the sat-nav, a local beach, we can let the dogs off and run around on. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. We ain't got, we've got ages before I need to be there. Well, we've got about an hour before I need, I want to get to... Oh, the festival. Look at the beautiful, that be this beautiful place. We're at East Coves and I'm just letting them off so they can do their thing. Hey right, Dee. Hello. We're not allowed on the beach. Come here. No, leave that big floofy dog. <laughs> nice little run around, been in the car all morning. Layla Street's gonna go that gate. Try <laughs> breaking that house. Come on. We're on the site. We've got to find the right place to go. Straight through the arch, she said. I have to tell people we're not taking the dogs in. I'm just, I'm just being dropped off. Oh God, oh God. Thank you. Lovely. They know, that's the secret code. Hazards through the arch. I've just been dropped off and uh, I've got my wristband. Ha la la la. So I've got to go and find Norland. I'm here with Norland. So Jack's going to go off of the doggies. Um, and then it's going to pick me up a bit in a couple of hours. So I'm over here. I'm over here. And then we're going to check ourselves into our Airbnb. And then we're going to come back later on this evening to see the acts we want to see, but the dogs are going to love where we're staying. They're going to go mental. So I've just been doing, just been at the Norland bar, doing some Instagram stories to be like, yo, yo, peeps, you should go there. I had a strawberry daiquiri and it was so good. Um, they've given me some drinks tokens for later on. And it's, oh, it's a lovely bar, it's, all, it's on a shipping container and it's on the rooftop. And I said, as I said, oh, it's a shipping container. The lady that was sat next to me was like, oh yeah. And I, oh no, that was it. I said, oh, it's a shipping container. I went, oh, there was loads in Southampton and all the big ferries. And a lady sat next to me went, yeah, I work in logistics on those. I went, really? So obviously, obviously I picked her brain about that, didn't I? Because I had to know everything about shipping containers and logistics. Oh my God, it's beautiful. The sunshine makes me so happy. Back in the car, onward to the Airbnb, and an absolutely beautiful island. All these rolling hills, the views, glen, doggies. It's amazing. What a beautiful day. <laughs> Girls, you're going to love it here. There's so much woodland. Oh, look at the festoon lights. Lola, you can purr in the woods. Whoa! Uh, no. <laughs> uh, right, so could, we're over here. They, they said you could pull up right by the... Uh, whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> look. That. <gasps> right, there's a lockbox apparently. This is our shower. 
Look, babe, there's the shower. Oh, nice. Whoa! Wow! Look at that! Look at this bath. There's a bathroom in here. Oh my God, it is massive in here. <gasps> Look at this little dressing table. Wow. This is so cool. We're walking back into the festival. As um, predicted, there was a bit of a wait for taxi. It's okay. I didn't want to pre-book one because I didn't know like whereabouts was. Well, I knew where, where we were staying, but it was a kind of a complicated location. Um, but also, um, I didn't know what time we were going to get back to the air. We had planned to get there back there for like four, but um, we got, well, there was a lot of traffic, so there was a bit of a hold up. It's okay. I can hit the hear them loud and clear. I've just been singing along to have a little bit of love. I'm also going to be watching them at Latitude, hopefully. If, um, I end up going and I have seen them before a few times. They are brilliant live. They're fun, 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 fun band. We're walking back to the Airbnb. <laughs> the festoon lights that lead to the year aren't on, so walking down this really dark lane in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. It's not down there. That's so nice. Oh, the trees. <gasps> Wow, there's so many cruise liners on the fucking horizon. Oh my god, amazing. Angels, angels. Go easy, Evies, go Evies. Come on, come on, come on. Good morning. We have had a lovely little lion this morning um, and just waking up to the sound of the sea and looking, like sitting up in bed and seeing the sun glistening on the, on the water has been amazing. But we're going to go down now to the beach. With the dogs, they love it here because they can just run around and have a good time. This coat I bought at the festival yesterday is ridiculous, but I mean, I, I love a lion with a purple. This is brilliant. We're going to go down here Got a little gate. Lola, come on. You didn't lock her into the into the yurt, did ya? Did you see me picking up a towel and it's already just gone down there? Oi you! <laughs> did you just run up ahead? I found her! You naughty. Naughty. Oh, there's people running. Oh my god. I'm just I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be here. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look, we can park our stuff over here. <gasps> oh my God, look, there's like a city. Or like a town. Beautiful. <gasps> it's boiling. Oh my God, it's so warm. <gasps> oh my God. Oh wow. Oh wow. <gasps> oh my gosh. Boats. Oh, this is so cool.
sea is gorgeous. I, also, I did see a crab though. She's been um, dropping rocks at those kids' feet. <laughs> Look, Diane, get off my coat. Oh, this is so, such a nice little beach. We just um, met a really nice local on the beach with a dog. She just gave us loads of uh, tips on where to go. So she was like, oh, let's go around the bend. There's a coffee vendor there that gives coffee and cake. Wow. Hey, Loli. I'm spilling my bloody coffee. I'm getting stuck. Oh, gosh. We've just driven to a place called Sandown and we're going to go for some lunch. It's beautiful. It's just along here, this place I've seen, which looks really nice. We're going to go on a little, just have a little look what's about. Here, I've got a few recommendations from the lovely lady we saw this morning. Oh, that dog's wearing a little jacket. Oh. We made it and it is really, really nice. But what's so funny is we're right next to the sea in the splash zone so we have pulled the table across a little bit but as you can see we are right next to the water and it's quite far in so this place is so lovely look how gorgeous this is i feel like we're in ibiza again this menu looks so good the avo dish pokey bowl ah! he's gonna get the smash burger Sh truffle shrooms on toast no nah, i'm not getting that I'm so excited to eat this. This is my poke bowl. I haven't had a poke bowl in ages and I was tempted by a sandwich, but I thought, you know what, no. I'm gonna order something I have, wouldn't normally order. You know what, hello. I'm gonna get out in a minute. I've got some ice creams. That banana is so good, Jesus Christ. Give me, can I have one more bite, Phil? That's so nice, oh, I wish I got banana now. I never think to order banana. Mmm. I've got some scoops for the dog. <laughs> Two little younglings. Two little babies. So I lost Jack for a moment. He went into a gift shop and he bought me a present, a chopping board with a goat on it. I do wonder what goes through your brain sometimes. What was the thought behind that? I thought I'd buy you a goat because you're the greatest of all time. Oh, bear. <laughs> we are at Black Gang Shine, which is a viewpoint and I can already see it and I'm already getting the heebie-jeebies. See Epic Seas. Can we see France? No. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Wait there. Whoa! Look, it's a little theme park down there. Oh, wow, look at this view. I want to go on that thing that spins you upside down. Maybe not right now. Just that ice cream. Look at that beach. <gasps> God damn it. Wow! My, ar my arm is hanging out of the car door. And it's very, very cold. Whoa there, baby. Oh my God, here we go. We're going through a vortex. We're going through the vortex. What is this? This is sick. I'm just going to keep my hand close to the car. I don't want something to yank it off. Look at this bloody road. I can see why motorcyclists enjoy riding up here because it's windy and fun. That's what that lady said to come down this road. That beach ahead looks fucking lush. What do you think, Jack? I don't think that's a beach. I think that's just cliffs. No, the view. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love the view. Those massive cliffs look like they're going to fall at any moment and we're about to drive up them. That's kind of why. Oh, don't. That's why I love it. <laughs> Death Risk versus reward. <laughs> we're in Yarm. We are. Yeah, we are. So we just went to a pub for a quick beverage. There was quite a lot of drunk people in there. Um, being quite rowdy. Yarmouth is beautiful though. Posh Yarmouth. I only say posh Yarmouth because we've got a Yarmouth where we live and it's not so posh. It's getting there. It's, they're doing it up really nice. 
and we're looking forward to we're gonna rip we're gonna go to the there's a pub around the corner we're gonna go there for some dinner and then chill at the yurt all evening aren't we yes we're back after some dinner at the mermaid distillery just had to stick and see the salad it was lush we're just chilling in the yurt listening to the sea we had a little one last run along on the beach. There's loads of boats out there, so I've been perving on the ships. Football's on over here. I've just been on my phone, but I'm probably going to have a little draw on the iPad. I, I really recommend visiting the Isle of Wight because it's beautiful. How's the football? Good. <laughs> Belgium and... Romania. Uh -huh. It's a good game. Need to make sure we leave the place nice and tidy before we leave tomorrow. How we found it kind of vibes. I always do. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs>